great to see you again. I'm here with my friend Jill today, and we are in Mary and Martha's house. We have some stories to tell you about how Jesus always finds the lost and is always with us. He used to tell Mary and Martha the story about this lady that carried her bag of coins with her all the time. She always had 10 coins with her. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. I'm missing a coin. Uh -oh. It's lost. We gotta find it. Let's check it we out. We gotta look and see where it could possibly be. Oh, I found it. Oh, thank goodness. There it is. Our 10th coin. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thankfully, you found that one. Oh, I know. I that, know. That story reminds me of, you know, kids, when, when my grandkids come to visit, whenever they pack up, they just left this morning, whenever they pack up to go back home to Raleigh, they're always making sure they have their favorite stuffed animals with them. So they're always checking things out, looking. If they didn't find their favorite Tufty the turtle, they would be like, stop, stop, we, we can't go home without it. So even the smallest, littlest stuffed animal means an awful lot to them. So, And Jesus told stories all the time about, about sheep and, and he is the shepherd and, well, and oh, Jill. oh, here's, here's you? Peter. Hello, hello Mitch. Good to Here's see you Mary and Martha's Hi, again. Awesome. Yes, I heard you telling the story about the coins and the stuffed animals. I have one too. You know, after I get done fishing, I go home to tend my sheep. And it's very important that all of the sheep stay together. I have a lot of them. I think I have maybe a hundred sheep. Can you imagine? So many that you wouldn't think that I would worry about just one. But I was out there the other day, and like Nancy with the coins, and like Jill with the stuffed animals, I was counting my sheep. 88, 89, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Ha, I have a hundred sheep. I only see 99. I was not happy about that. Just like Jesus is not happy when he's missing a person. It bothers him. And it bothered me to lose my, my little sheep. I went all over, all over the, the pasture, all over the field to find that one sheep because it meant so much to me that I would have all of my sheep. They're all a part of my family. And look, here he is. I found him. Now he can go back to make number 100. And I'm very happy. Just like Jesus is so happy when you come in, when you get lost and you come back because you're a part of his family. He's always happy when you come back. Just like we're happy to have our 100 sheep, we're happy to have our stuffed animals, and we're happy to have our coins. You know, and just like all those things, kids, that we've lost, God searches for us to make us all a part of his family. Mm -hmm. He wants you to know that you are very, very important to him. Even though you're just one out of many, you are very important. Right? You got it, Peter. Right, right Peter. Okay. Bye, kids. See you next week. <laughs>